Hey you! If you clicked on this video, then you're going to want to stick around until the very end to catch the amazing outcome. Trust me on this one. Aquatic research done by marine biologists has been vital to mankind's increased understanding of the vast world within our oceans. Because of the work done by devoted researchers over the past several decades, people have become more aware of not just the countless majestic creatures of the deep, but also how human development and expansion has impacted them. Marine biology, unlike multiple other areas of research, is a field in which it is well understood that much of what exists remains undiscovered. It is thought that between 50% and 80% of all life on Earth is found under the ocean, and less than 10% of that space has been fully explored by humans. This means that many of the wondrous creatures of the deep have yet to be discovered. Like the Megalodon, maybe? Hopefully. Please? I like him. This presents a daunting task for marine biologists, but it also means that there is seemingly unlimited potential for new information. Eleuthera is a group of islands in the Great Bahamas Bank. Though much like Hawaii, the main island also bears the name Eleuthera and boasts a population of 11,000, including famed singer-songwriter Lenny Kravitz, who has said that many of his songs have been written on or inspired by the island. A one-hour flight away lies Gainesville, Florida, where you will find the Florida Museum of Natural History. The museum was established in 1891 and in the past decade alone has seen nearly 200,000 visitors. The museum features several buildings, thousands of exhibits, and literally millions of artifacts. The largest building on the grounds is Dickinson Hall, located on the east side of the campus at the corner of Museum Road and Newell Drive. Dickinson Hall is home to the museum's main research facility and former public exhibits. It is here that Gavin Naylor passes his days. Gavin is the director of the Florida Program for Shark Research. The program does vital work in the fields of conservation and research related to not only sharks but sawfish as well. They also maintain the International Shark Attack File, which catalogs unprovoked shark attacks in every single corner of the globe. As part of the research done by Gavin and his team, they frequently have to capture and tag deep sea sharks in order to learn more about their life cycles and travel patterns. But one particular creature had proven exceptionally difficult to tag, and that happens to be the blunt nosed sig skill shark. This creature is sometimes called a cow shark and can reach lengths of 20 feet. This shark is typically found in very deep waters, preferring to remain between 590 and 3610 feet. That's from the surface of the water, mind you, and sometimes it even reaches up to depths of 8202 feet, at least at certain times. Most of us would probably be happy to leave this giant creature alone, but Gavin and his team were tasked with tagging a blunt-nosed six-gill shark specimen. So, they hit the waters near Eleuthera and in the hopes of locating one, but on two separate occasions they had failed to successfully tag one. Gavin and his team headed out for a third attempt, and this time at 1700 feet below sea level, they located the beast. Gavin reflected upon the moment saying, quote, It was like seeing a T-Rex in the water. He goes on to say that it was probably the most magical experience I've ever had. But while Gavin stood in awe, the reality of the situation began to settle in and he realized that finding the creature was only half the battle. Now he and his team had the daunting task of fitting the shark with a sophisticated tracking device. I'll tell you in just a moment if the team would succeed, but first make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon right now. After you click the bell, comment notification squad below and I'll reply to all of you saying thanks, cause I love you like that. Gavin Naylor and a team of researchers from the Florida Program for Shark Research at the Florida Museum of Natural History had set off in search of the enormous blunt-nosed six-gill shark and they found one nearly 1700 feet below the surface. But finding it was only half the battle as stated before. And now the team was inside of a submersible craft preparing to try and implant the tracking device on the shark. With a very precise shot, Gavin himself landed the tracking device on the shark. And after three expeditions, more than 2,000 pounds of bait, custom-built spear guns, and over a dozen tries, the team of researchers could finally celebrate a successful mission. The tag will record all kinds of data about the shark, including the shark's depth and the ambient light and temperature of its environment. The study will last for three months, at which point the tag will automatically dislodge from the shark and float to the surface where it will transmit the stored data to a satellite link. While their work can be challenging, Gavin's program is vital to the success and conservation of the species. And that's our video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on that like button and also maybe click on one of the two videos above. Have a good day, everybody.